Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Newton's Panthers going up against Ryan's Falcons. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 11 matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports. A matchup in the NFC South as we join you from Bank of America Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims and a storybook matchup here today with an unbeaten time to take on a big challenger. Yeah, you know, you're, you're too talented. They're trying to ruin your season to take away the undefeated season. That, and that's what it's about. So it's exciting for you to prepare, get ready to go in these kind of matchups. And I think uh, both teams, in my eyes, physically, they're even, so this should be exciting. Now, as we go to the field, it's Devin Hester back deep for the kickoff. And Graham Gano looks ready to get this one underway. by his offensive line so he proved to everybody even though he's not a speed guy he can stand in that pocket under pressure and make plays yeah. offense lines up here Falcons have it at the 24 Jackson's gonna take the handoff now that's a gain of 10 So many times you watch football games and coaches just give up too early on the run game. Well, they'll keep it going today after that run. Decent pickup by the running back. Second and short. Jackson's taking the handoff. He's taken down at the 35. Jackson is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Jackson's lined up in a single back formation. First and ten. Jackson's hand at the football. Hastings there to make the stop. Here's our look at the Falcons lineup. They've had a hard time this year moving the football through the air. Second down here after that run play. Ryan's going to take it from the gun. He's scrambling now. That's an interception. In on the stop. Newton's heading out now. Now an experienced quarterback with four years under his belt. The Panthers have it at the 39. Williams, Williams is tackled down. This will be second down. Newton's going to keep it. The defense gets a sack. There's nothing worse to a quarterback than having an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time, the right side of the line collapses, and it leads to a sack of the QB. The Panthers from the 37. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. This is what separates offensive lines in the NFL in obvious passing situations like this one on third down. Can you hold up and protect your quarterback to give him time to make those throws? Well, the answer to this one right now is no. What a difficult spot to be in from here. Wide receivers are bunched up. Toss play.
And you're an offensive lineman, and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards. You are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Texas is able to show everybody why he should get the football more. Good job that time finding his way and picking up the first down. Offense lines up here. Feeds him again. Taken down at the 21. Coming up, second down. With this play, they'll go with two tight ends. They'll mark the football at the 22. Rodgers is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Rodgers lined up in the backfield. The Falcons from the 22. Scrambling now. Davis has got it. First down. Well, when you play this type of defense where you play cover three, in other words, you have three defenders playing one in the middle, one right, and one left, well, the weakness of that defense is going to be underneath. So slant patterns, they're pretty easy against this cover three. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Beautiful job that time by the QB. He goes back there in the pass play. He doesn't like what he sees, and he just takes off and gets the yards and gets a first down. First and ten. Makes the reception. And he's brought down right at the 42. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. It's now second down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Third down. They didn't fare too well in these situations last week. Third and three. Catch made. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. First down at the 28. They'll go ground. Good piece of tackling. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Second and eight. Keeps it here. Takes off with it. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Gains 18. Well, when your offensive line stinks, you got to get out of the pocket. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throws the ball very well on the run for the completion. Play after play after play here on this drive. Handoff made. Picked up a couple that time. Panthers defense, they got backed up in their own red zone, but you know what? They came through that time. There's a run play. They were waiting for it, and they stopped the offense for a very short game. Marching down the field and taking their time. Gets it again. Man, that game's won. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal. What are they going to call? They're going to run the football. They're going to go with the pass. And if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. What a drive this has been. Third and goal at the five. Throws the pass. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense. Scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. the Falcons for the extra point. Count it.
the Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. Kotcheri's got it on the return. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Two-minute warning. First down, offense ready for the snap. The Panthers at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. Has Olsen. They'll mark him at the 28. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. And he's thrown to the ground. Can they overcome the sack? Third down on the way. Interception. What a job by the linebacker that time making that interception. Gets in good position. What a pair of hands. A linebacker who can do it all. First down coming up. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. And he takes off. Could have been intercepted. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. The Falcons fans certainly had their heartbeat raised a week ago in a last-second victory. And now, once again, they're going to have to hold their breath to the end. Yeah, but they got to feel confident in the fact that they know their coaches can make the tough calls. They like their quarterback. They got a defense that can make plays. They like the situation they're in. Godfrey is able to knock the pass away. That time, the defender was in excellent position. He jumps up and knocks the ball down. All set to punt here. Falcon signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. Well, you come out there on the field as a defense. The offense has great field position. You've got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them, and they gave up the field goal. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. He'll take it from the 10. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Panthers ready now to start their next series. Take it here from the 30. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Finds his mark. Ball is out. The offense was able to recover the ball. The Panthers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Now first and ten. Brings it into his body. Bonds tackled down at the 50. Second down after that pass play. Offense lines up here. Newton's got it in the gun. Has Olsen. Olsen's met at the 23. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down. Jim, that's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. The Panthers take it from the 23. And he's taken down. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. 
Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. The Panthers will take the snap from the 30. That's a gain of eight. The Panthers signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. This will be a field goal try for Gundo. They immediately call for a timeout. He'll try this one from 39. Kick is good for three. That was a good hold, good kick, three points. Good job by the offense. The Falcons ready to return the kick. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. One more snap in halftime. Takes the knee. So that's going to do it for the first half. Falcons are up in this one. This is the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's get ready now to take a look back at the first half. The Panthers are behind right now and certainly will need to tweak some things. The Falcons, on the other hand, are just showing more of what they showed last week by playing good football. And a touchback. <laughs> the Panthers are ready to take over now as their offense heads onto the field. Stewart is in the backfield. The second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. He'll pick up seven this time. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. It's a two tight end formation. Second down, three to go. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. The Panthers look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Down a couple points here in the second half. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. Handoff to Jonathan Stewart. They'll mark him at the 41. Second down and two to go after the running play. They call his number once more. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating. And I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating. To this, The NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. Two tight ends on the field here. D'Angelo Williams. He's taken down at the 47. Second down. The jumbo set on the field. Williams has got it on the handle. They are all over him behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of one. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense that time. They diagnosed the running play. They got in the backfield, and they tackled the runner for a loss. Third and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Pulls it in. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Makes the catch. He's tackled right at the 31. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look out. Stewart lined up in the backfield. The Panthers snap it at the 31. They're going to get him here for a sack. 
That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. But they don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. They come out in the dime package. Got a big lane. And he's brought to the ground. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. First down and 10. Stewart's tackled down after a gain of seven. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back, they need to make a big play here. And Williams is called on once again. Well, that time the offensive line just got overpowered. They allowed penetration. When you do that, nowhere for the running back to go. What a good job by the defensive line. Mounting a serious drive. Has his man. He's brought down. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. This has been a long drive so far. First and goal from the one. The defense gets the sack. One quarter to go, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This long drive continues. The final quarter underway now with this snap. In the end, it picks up only a yard. Stepping up, ready to spring into action at the eight. The long drive continues. Third and goal from the eight. With two hands, he has it. The tackle is made. Well, he gets tackled inside the five-yard line. That's the great thing. The bad thing is hard to score once you get inside the five-yard line in the NFL. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Jonathan Stewart with the football. He'll turn it over on downs. I'm not going to disagree with the coach at all making that decision. Fourth and short, he just figures his offense, we can get this. Well, he was wrong. Now you hope the defense can come out there and stop it. Jackson takes his spot in the backfield. And game, maybe four. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. Anytime your receiver running any route in the NFL, they're worried about getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at them. We're late in the game, and the offense is in no hurry. Third down and six. Has his target. Spins away from the hit. So they failed to convert on third down, but that's been one of the lone failures on third today. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. From a first down, they're going to go for it. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Tackles made. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. First down here after the run. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Two minutes to go in the second half. They're able to move the chains after that last run. 
So they convert and pick up a first, but still a long way to go. And Hardy in on the tackle. No surprise, they immediately call the timeout. After being stopped at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. They want to keep feeding him the football. And Keekley in on the tackle. And they're going to call a timeout here to stop the clock. After that last run, it sets up third and six. Jackson's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Looking across the middle, the Falcons now move the chains. That's a timeout call. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Jones in the slot. Gives it to Steven Jackson. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Second and three after that last carry. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Bad play call that time by the defense, Jim. You know, they, they can't give up the first down. They make a safe call, and they let the offense get the first down. That probably seals the game. Jones, a receiver in the slot. Jackson. And he's tackled just two yards short of a first down. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Play after play after play here on this drive. Good for only a yard. Not managing the football game. That's why they ran the football right there. Not a big game, but sometimes you have to be predictable. You have the lead. You're trying to get rid of the clock. you got to run it. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Marching down the field and taking their time. Godfrey's in on the tackle. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game, and you, you always hear this control the tempo of the game, just move the chains, and that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. The Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Bryant's lining up for the field goal. He's nine for nine on the year. No good. No good. Is every win sweet, or are the close ones that much more satisfying than just blowing someone out for 60 minutes? Well, the close ones are more satisfying because the tension is there longer. And the longer you're under tension, when it finally uh, comes to fruition, you win, it just makes it that much more exciting, Jim.